guys, it's Daniela again and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello. So for today's video, I'm just going to sit down and play with new makeup, old makeup, old favourites, products I haven't really liked in the past and I just want to retry it on camera with you guys. So yeah, today's video is going to be a shot my stash. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and let's get started. Hi guys, so first things first, I'm going to do my eyes first. For eye primer, I'm going to use the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Create. I've used this a couple of times and I still really don't have an opinion on it if I'm honest. It's not that I love it, it's not that I hate it, it's just I don't really have an opinion on it. I don't really find myself using a lot of like eye primer specifically just because like I do use my concealer there was like a period of time where I was non-stop using my Too Faced one and I haven't recently but that Too Faced one did actually really help with creasing I don't know why I don't use this more often because I actually like how it's like blending and it looks it looks really good it doesn't look too dry or anything this is why I like creating videos like this because you just end up using products that you haven't used for whatever reason and you're like oh my god this is a really good product why don't i use it so yeah that cut crease canvas i actually like the way it made my eyelids look obviously it depends on how it makes my eyeshadows look but so far not a bad product at all so for eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with this so this is the jaclyn hill palette by morphe this is her first one and i haven't really used this in a while if i'm honest and when i have used it I usually just go in with like these two shades and a couple other matte shades. I don't really create a lot of looks with this palette. I just generally think I'm not into big palettes and I think that's why I don't really reach for this palette as much. So I'm just going in with this colour first all over my crease. And for today's like eyeshadow, I'm going to use a MAC pigment which I haven't used in so long. And it's actually very much influenced by Jessica Braun because she recently used it in a video and I was like, I love the way that looks. I have that colour, why don't I use it? I've been really enjoying Jessica Braun's content and Taylor Wynn's content. I just really like how chilled their videos are. And I'm even watching like old videos, which I never usually do, unless it's like Kathleen and Jessie's videos. I always go back and watch their videos together. So now I'm gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna go into this shade here. And I'm just gonna deepen out my crease with that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade here, just the tiniest bit on the outer V. I want to keep this look really, like, subtle and simple looking. I just want to put something on the outer V just to define it a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with the first crease shade just to blend out the edges. So now we're going to go in with this. So this is the MAC Pigment in Tan. This is kind of the reason why I wanted to film today and I wanted to use like older products because I haven't used this in a hot while, in a hot while, I don't know if that's like something people say, I haven't used it in a while and I remember loving it and Jessica Braun recently used it. So I've just wet the brush a little bit. Wow, it looks so pretty. Because it is a pigment, you can actually make it look like a liquid eyeshadow. So that's kind of what I've done. So now what I'm going to do is just go in with it a little bit more dry. Just to give it a little bit more shimmer. I am getting fallout, but I didn't expect not to, if I'm honest. So now I'm just going to go back in with this colour here and just kind of clean up my outer V. So for primer, I want to use the Stila One Step Correct Primer. I just want to use this up because this... It's never finishing. I've had it for probably way too long. Like, it's definitely expired. It's never ending. Don't get me wrong, that's great because like I actually really like this primer. I do think it just evens out your skin tone. And I really like how it makes my skin look and it gives it a really nice glow. Another primer I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base. I don't think you can even get this anymore, but I still got it, so I'm gonna use it. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of put this on the highest points of my face. I actually really like this primer. I don't know why they would discontinue it, but they have. These two products are pretty like old school when it comes to like makeup on YouTube, because like everyone used to talk about these a couple years ago and they are very good products. So here is where it gets a little bit, hmm. So for foundation, I want to retry the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. 
So I decluttered this, but because I haven't been able to see my friends, I haven't actually been able to really give them their makeup. And recently I've heard a lot of people say that this is a dupe for the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation. It's a NARS foundation that I've always kind of wanted to try. So yeah, I'm going to retry it again. I have retried this a couple times and it just does not work on me. It looks absolutely horrendous. So I just want to try it again and see how it works. And if it looks bad, I will just take it all off and put another foundation on. So I've done like not even two pumps. Oh, and in the foundation, I've got a color F7. So just looking at it in the mirror from this distance, it doesn't look bad at all. I wanna see what it looks like up close. All right, forehead looks really good. Okay. What the heck? It looks actually really nice. So maybe it's, the primers I use, maybe these are the primers that I should use with this product. Because I hadn't actually tried these primers with this product. Like my smile lines look fine, it hasn't really creased. It is going a little bit more satin rather than how it was so dewy before. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I've got the shade F2. Okay, it's blended out nicely. I feel like that meme of um, conceded from Wild and Out. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I do need a little bit more coverage than this. Okay, so I spoke too soon about the foundation because now around my mouth, it's just looking really textured. And obviously I do have texture there, like I'm not expecting the foundation to like smooth completely over my texture but I just feel like it emphasizes my texture a lot. Oh, that's such a shame because it looks so good at first. The foundation does not look great around my mouth area and I feel like that's where the problem was before as well. But on my forehead and my cheeks, it looks absolutely fine. Now I'm gonna cream contour and this is the PS Nudes Cream Contour Duo. I haven't used this in so long and I don't know if I should have gone in with this color, but we're here now, so. I'm gonna try and avoid my actual spot. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, that cream contour looks really good actually. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this one on top and this is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil. Soleil. Um, bronzer. I haven't used this in a while because I don't want to use it up but I also don't want it to dry up before I even get to use it so I need to get back on to using it. This is such a lovely lovely product and L'Oreal discontinued it as well. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just go under my bottom lip. I really wish someone would create a really nice like liquid bronzer but I can't find any especially drugstore wise and all the ones I do find they're always like um, cream form rather than liquid. So I've got four new blushes I recently bought but I'm actually going to end up just using the Makeup Obsession one. This is in the colour number one Crush. Just because I haven't used this one yet and I just want to see what it looks like. So I've just put some on the back of my hand and now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. It seems like a pretty sheer kind of product so you might have to build it up. <sighs> I love that colour. Okay so that blusher actually has like the prettiest like finish it's like really glowy oh yes i've had such good success with blushes lately this is the rcma no color powder i'm just going to use it because i know how it works on my skin but i just haven't used it in a while i've been really stuck on my Laura mercier now i'm going to go in with the l fiji matte palette i'm going to use this shade here to bronze up my skin Why don't I use this more often? I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Bronzer in Dolce. I haven't used this in a while. Now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Blusher in Luminoso. I haven't used this in actual ages. So what I'm gonna do now is go off camera, do my bottom lash line, which I'm gonna just use the same shades that I did at the top. Add mascara and for mascara, I'm just gonna 
use these two this is the lash princess one the purple tube and then this is the volume stylus so i'm just going to add these two to my lashes and then i'll come back and do my lips with you hi guys so i'm back so as you can see i've done my lower lash line and i did add mascara i also did a little bit of brows well i basically did my brows off camera so i used a makeup revolution like clickable brow pencil in dark brown and I don't know man this thing is so gimmicky i don't really know how i feel about this product if i'm honest my clicky part stopped working so it broke so i was like oh my god let me click 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 i clicked too much and then i got too much product and then i had to like put it on my hand it's just a very fiddly product to use i find and i'm just i don't mind it and i'll still use it but it's just it irritates me so for highlight i'm gonna use the ps brunch club highlight i haven't used this in a while I'm gonna go with my lip liner in sugar glass i used this in my last video but i hadn't used it in a while before that and this was like my go-to lip liner for so long i think it's because now i actually like using a darker lip liner i love the nyx lip liners honestly i really really do i recommend them all i am gonna go in with a little bit of a brown lip liner this is the color brown coffee i love this color as well I feel like if I don't do this, my lips have no definition at all. My lip line is absolutely non-existent on the top. Like, I absolutely have to line my lips on the top because it looks so weird without it. So, a lipstick I haven't used in so long is actually a liquid lipstick. I used to love this. So, this is the Too Faced Liquid Lipstick in Child Star. I actually still like this colour. I like the formula. I just don't really reach for liquid lipsticks i'm always gonna go over it with a gloss anyway so i don't know why i don't reach for it when i do use liquid lipsticks because there are still sometimes that i do use liquid lipsticks just not as often as i use lipsticks i never go in with like a really thick layer of it because it does look so dry on my lips a lip gloss i haven't used in a while is the l'oreal dazzle lip gloss in disco ball i used to rinse these lip glosses and i just haven't used it in so long Look at that, beautiful. So for my last product, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution like brow gel, brow soap product. I did use this in my last video and I don't know about this. I, I really don't know about this product. I just don't think it's for me. It doesn't keep my eyebrows in place like a brow gel would. And you know, this product is for like really fluffy brows, but I can get the same look with my brow gel and my brow pencil so I don't know if it's worth it for someone that has like pretty thick brows already. Okay guys so this is the look that I created using old favourites, new products, products I haven't used in a while, products that I didn't really like. Um, This is their look and if I'm honest my base does not look bad at all. Like it doesn't look the best around my mouth but it does not look bad at all. I really, really like my eye look. Um, my lip combo, oh yeah, I'm gonna be using that again. For sure, I'm gonna be using that again. Most of the products I use today, I know that I've liked in the past, but I just haven't used them in a while. And now I'm like, I can't wait to create another look with these products. The concealer I actually really like, it isn't as full coverage as I would like for my under eyes. And it doesn't really build up coverage when you do build it. I think I'm actually going to keep everything. I don't think I'm going to declutter anything. So the foundation has really surprised me. It looks really good everywhere but my mouth. It is sinking into my fine line just there. And it doesn't look the best around like my mouth. Literally like this area here. But it's not something that I couldn't live with. And I couldn't leave the house with. The first time I tried this. I literally had to take off my makeup. Because it looked so bad it's not my absolute favorite especially around my mouth area but i can live with that it could be a foundation that i just use on my outer part of my face and then go in with a foundation that i really like around my mouth it could be a really good mixing foundation i am so gobsmacked honestly and yeah i'm actually really shocked how good this makeup looks i really was not expecting to have a proper good makeup day just because i knew that i was going to try out this foundation and the concealer and i was like oh, i don't know how it's going to work but 
I think it's the primers that I used. I think the setting spray really helped. And the powder that I used, the RCMA one, really helped as well. So yeah, guys, I really like this look. I love how it's like very appropriate for spring. It looks very natural. My cheeks are very blushed and I really like that. I have enough bronzer on for two people, but I love that. I have enough blush for like three people, but I love a really overly blushed and bronzed look. I just love that look. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's Shop My Stash video. I really enjoyed creating it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And yeah, um, I hope you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video and you want me to create more Shop My Stash videos, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.